Okay, now you want to get your inventor model into VR and uh, the reason you want to do that is it gives you an excellent sense of scale and you just get a feel for how you would interact with the thing, where your hand can reach, how big it is. Um, I think we I used to do to get a sense of scale uh, because it's really hard to tell how big something is when you're looking at it on on a screen is I would throw iMic in there and so you got this guy in there and then all of a sudden you get a sense of how big this is and it helps a lot but uh, let me tell you when you put it into VR it's way different and if you're designing stuff that you need to interact with it's a game changer and uh, I wish Autodesk would put more effort into making this easier um, I tried to follow their uh, process from going to 3ds max to 3ds in, in, interactive but it seems like that is already obsolete even though this was recorded a year ago so this is what I figured out works I bought this program on Steam it's called VR model viewer and it is eight dollars it's currently on sale for two dollars a steal of a deal and so all you need to do is you need to go in here and you need to say I want to export this as a CAD format I've already done this but just to show you what I did is I just set the resolution to high I don't know how much that matters but what I do think matters is that the units is in meters um, that's what the the software expects so let's jump over to the software now so if I launch this I'll put on my headset and then you should be able to see what I'm seeing in VR. Okay, here we are. We're in a room and we have a bunch of uh, options available as far as where, where we're standing, I guess, to view an object. So I'll just pick one. Let's, uh, let's go into the dojo. I'll just myself off to the side here and import my model so I just look at here get my menu import model I'm gonna say like I said yeah so I'm gonna say I want to bring this OBJ file in and uh, one thing I noticed and there's probably a setting I'm missing is it doesn't land on the floor all the time even though it should be on the the you know the origin should be at the bottom of this thing so what I found works good is I go enable physics and then I re-import it and what happens it'll it kind of turns on uh, detection so it'll drop to the floor and it'll sit there which is kind of nice because now once that's turned on is is if I go and interact with it, it I can actually like push it around which is pretty neat but like instantly I get a sense of like where my hands will be how tall I am like where I can reach um, it's it's just incredible like it this this model doesn't have a lot of detail but you can see so, like the textures came in fine um, I, I'm really happy with this workflow it, it's so much easier than trying to do other stuff sorry I'm not very good at getting around in here but just gives you an idea of what what you can do and uh, and this is my preferred workflow now it's it's so easy compared to anything else I've seen and so let me know what you think I guess is this helpful have you used VR I'm pretty new to it myself you can probably tell by how clunky I am getting around here but uh, yeah game changer for me designing things and uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys thanks